I, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a video to have a quick look at what's new basically in the latest pair of Windows 11 Insider Preview Builds that rolled out on the 27th of April to the Beta Channel Insiders, Builds 22621 and 22624.1680. Now once again this week, there's actually not too much when it comes to um, new features actually that have rolled out um, and that's because as I've mentioned previously that things are starting to uh, stabilize now in the beta channel and, and that's because a lot of the features that have been tested previously in the beta channel I do feel will start rolling out shortly with the moment three update as the third wave of new features um, which we can expect to see start rolling out at the end of May next month into June and uh, um just to take you through what's new for today's video, um, they are beginning to roll out um, animated icons for widgets on the taskbar, says Microsoft. Um, the, animate, the animation, as we can see in the little uh, GIF provided, triggers when you hover or click on the widget's taskbar entry point or when a new widget announcement is, is displayed on your taskbar. Microsoft says currently only a few weather and finance icons are supported. And actually this feature did roll out uh, to the stable version of Windows 11 earlier this week with the latest optional bug fix update that did roll out. So um, that's now uh, being tested um, in the beta channel. Now, um, what's new in both builds, 2261 and 2264? And this, believe it or not, was previously featured um, and introduced um, last month uh, to the Windows 11 Canary channel in a previous Canary build. And this feature now is gradually becoming um, basically ready for a wider rollout as Microsoft has recently introduced the new widgets board for beta channel users, as mentioned. So a lot of the feature features now being tested are getting ready for their public um, rollout to the stable version. Now, this evolved widgets board, according to Microsoft, gives you a larger canvas where you now you get three columns. Um, instead of the, the two that is currently supported uh, in the stable version. And these three columns um, will only be rolled out to your device um, if your device does carry support for three columns. And Microsoft says a larger canvas and new zones provide you with quick access to glanceable widgets um, from all of your apps. So that's the evolved widgets board. And then that's it. That's more or less what's new when it comes to... Um, and new features that are currently being tested now in the beta channel, getting ready for the public release, as mentioned. And over and above that, we get uh, fixes uh, for build 22624 for the file explorer, input fixes, live captions uh, fixes, task manager fixes. And then um, we also get a new feature for bo both builds. I'm just going to make a quick mention of this. And this also rolled out to the stable version um, of Windows 11 earlier this week. Uh, the update changes firewall settings. You can now configure application group rules. So that's just a firewall improvement, which is now available in the stable version and the beta channel. And over and above that, we get numerous fixes and improvements that have rolled out for both builds. Very similar to what the stable version um, received earlier this week with its optional bug fix update. So things getting very similar now between beta and stable. So as mentioned, um, we can expect to see some of those new features start rolling out shortly uh, towards the end of May, moving on into June. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.